biggest stories of the year with the Road Life News Desk. Thanks, Rove. I'm Carrie Bickmore, a bit like Sandra Sully, but drunker. <laughs> Making news tonight, petrol prices continue to rise across the country with taxi drivers offering to wheelbarrow passengers to work. <laughs> One cabbie said it's a lot cheaper than using the car and it's a lot easier to hose the spew out of a wheelbarrow <laughs> at the end of a Saturday night. <laughs> it was smiles all round as Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin celebrated the arrival of their second child, Moses. According to friends, Gwyneth knew she was in labour the moment that Moses parted her waters. <laughs> The body of a Bosnian civilian mistakenly flown to Australia this week has been sent to Woomera Detention Centre. <laughs> Immigration Minister Amanda Vanstone said we can't be making special considerations for people just because they're dead. <laughs> and in some news just in, it's been revealed that Sir Paul McCartney's estranged wife, Heather Mills, once appeared in a pornographic book. McCartney is reportedly very pleased with the discovery, saying he can now whack off to her photos without having to put up with her crap. <laughs> Mr Howard wants reality show Big Brother axed. In a media conference today, he said privates aren't meant to be rubbed in people's faces. They're meant to be sent to war and shot at. <laughs> Former Playboy model Anna Nicole Smith has confirmed rumours she is pregnant. The buxom blonde says she is very happy now that she finally has a brain inside her. <laughs> and finally, Shane Warne has received another blow. And you can see that photo at <laughs> www. <laughs>